The hyoid bone is a horseshoe-shaped bone situated in the anterior midline of the neck between the chin and the thyroid cartilage. At rest, it lies at the level of the base of the mandible in the front and the third cervical vertebra behind. And like other bones, the hyoid is only distantly articulated to other bones by muscles or ligaments. The hyoid is anchored by muscles from the anterior, posterior and inferior directions, and aids in tongue movement and swallowing. The hyoid bone provides attachment to the muscles of the floor of the mouth and the tongue above, the larynx below, and the epiglottis and pharynx behind. Its name is derived from Greek yaids, meaning shaped like the letter upsilon. Structure The bone consists of a central part called the body, and two pairs of horns, the greater and lesser horns. Horns The greater and lesser horns are two sections of bone that project from the hyoid. The greater horns project backward from the outer borders of the body. They are flattened from above downward and taper to their end, which is a bony tubercle connecting to the lateral thyroid ligament. The upper surface of the greater horns are rough and close to its lateral border, and facilitates muscular attachment. The largest of muscles that attach to the upper surface of the greater horns are the euglossus and constrictor pharyngeus medius, which extend along the whole length of the cornu. The digastric muscle and stylohyoid muscle have small insertions in front of these near the junction of the body with the cornu. To the medial border the thyroid membrane is attached, while the anterior half of the lateral border gives insertion to the thyroid muscle. The greater cornu are derived from the third pharyngeal arches. The lesser horns are two small, conical eminences, attached by their bases to the angles of junction between the body and greater horns of the hyoid bone. They are connected to the body of the bone by fibrous tissue, and occasionally to the greater cornua by distinct orthrodial joints, which usually persist throughout life, but occasionally become ankylosed. The lesser cornua are situated in the line of the transverse ridge on the body and appear to be morphological continuations of it. The apex of each cornu gives attachment to the stylohyoid ligament. The chondroglossus rises from the medial side of the base. The lesser cornua are derived from the second pharyngeal arches. Development The second pharyngeal arch gives rise to the lesser cornu of hyoid and a superior part of body of hyoid. The cartilage of the third pharyngeal arch forms the greater cornu of hyoid and the lower portion of the body of hyoid. The hyoid is ossified from six centers, two for the body, and one for each cornu. Ossification commences in the greater cornua toward the end of fetal life in the body shortly afterward, and in the lesser cornua during the first or second year after birth. Until middle age the connection between the body and greater cornua is fibrous. Muscle attachments, the following muscles are attached to the hyoid, function, the hyoid bone is present in many mammals. It allows a wider range of tongue, pharyngeal and laryngeal movements by bracing these structures alongside each other in order to produce variation. Its descent in living creatures is not unique to Homo sapiens, and does not allow the production of a wide range of sounds. With the lower larynx, men do not produce a wider range of sounds than women and two year old babies. Moreover, the larynx position of Neanderthals was not a handicap to producing speech sounds. The discovery of a modern looking hyoid bone of a Neanderthal man in the Kabara cave in Israel led its discoverers to argue that the Neanderthals had a descended larynx and thus human-like speech capabilities. However, other researchers have claimed that the morphology of the hyoid is not indicative of the larynx's position. It is necessary to take into consideration the skull base, the mandible and the cervical vertebrae and a cranial reference plane. Clinical significance Due to its position, the hyoid bone is not susceptible to easy fracture. In a suspected case of murder, a fractured hyoid strongly indicates throttling or strangulation in an adult. However, this is not necessarily the case in children and adolescents, where the hyoid bone is still flexible as ossification is yet to be completed. In other animals, the hyoid bone is derived from the lower half of the second gill arch in fish, which separates the first gill slit from the spiracle, and is often called the hyoid arch. In many animals, it also incorporates elements of other gill arches, and has a correspondingly greater number of cornua. Amphibians and reptiles may have many cornua, while mammals have two pairs, 
and birds only one. In birds, and some reptiles, the body of the hyoid is greatly extended forward, creating a solid bony support for the tongue. The howler monkey Alloda has a pneumatized hyoid bone, one of the few cases of postcranial pneumatization of bones outside Sauria. Additional images. See also, this article uses anatomical terminology. For an overview, see anatomical terminology. Adam's Apple, references, this article incorporates text from a public domain edition of Gray's Anatomy. External links, Anatomy Photo, 2503-0101 at the SUNY Downstate Medical Center a Euro Anterior Triangle of the Neck, the Muscular Triangle, Anatomy Diagram, 25420.000-1 at Roche Lexicon, Illustrated Navigator, Elsevier, Lesson 11 at the Anatomy Lesson by Wesley Norman, Mnemonic, Muscles Attached.